So do you want to do this with your Apple Watch? No, not yet. I discovered the other day a few articles uh, that were talking about how you can now use that double pinch, uh, you know, double tap uh, feature for the Apple Watch OS, the Apple Watch 9 series. But it was for all watches. And uh, the way it could be used was through the accessibility features. And so I just went down and said, okay, let's just check it out. And there it was. So what we have access to now, not only is it the Series 9 or the, the Ultras, no, this is for every single Apple Watch, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's for Apple Watch Series 4 and later, or Series S, SE 1 and later. So it's not for Model 3 or before that, so sorry guys. Now I'm gonna leave down below a link to the actual article where Apple uh, actually describes what the, uh, the these features are and how to use them, what they're for. But generally speaking, there are just two options that you have access with here. One is quick actions, which is the one that I use. And the other one is assistive touch. Both of them can be used simultaneously or you can use, just use one or the other. I've used both and I prefer personally just quick actions. The assistive touch is a more deeper dive. It controls the watch and take control of other items within the watch. It's super interesting, but it's not what I prefer to use. So if you want to take a deeper dive into that specific feature, there are tons of videos of that uh, uh, right here on YouTube. And you can also do that and check out the, the article too. I'm going to talk about the quick actions feature and how you can activate it on your watch. These will help for quick notifications, like dismiss notifications, calendars, timers, you name it. Um, a play, pause, for example, music, uh, podcasts, things like that. It's super useful. So how do we do this? Let me show you. Okay, so how do you activate this? It's super simple. All you need to do is go into your watch, go into your apps, and within your apps, go into your settings. From your settings, scroll down all the way to accessibility. Inside accessibility, scroll down all the way down. Well, it's not all the way down, but it's almost all the way down to where it says motors. There, motor. Now you see I have quick actions on and assistive touch off. So if you go into assistive touch, it'll just ask you to prompt it on and over here you have the inputs for the hand, for the, the hand gestures and everything. So the article goes into more depth about that and how it works. So remember to check that in the, in the bottom. Over here in quick actions, I have it on, but if it's off, all you need to do is just activate it. Now I just go back and you're set. That's it. So after you activate it, it will prompt you to actually do the gesture so the watch can, can learn. So remember that. Um, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. M to my wife, it didn't actually prompt anything. To me, it did, but it works perfectly for both of us. And she loves it, I love it. It's, it's been a, a game changer for my watch, to be honest. I was thinking of changing it, and now I'm, I'm really not. Assistive touch gives you so much more control and in depth into the actual Apple Watch. I really encourage you to go in and check it out. Not my cup of tea, but it's really interesting. Oh, and another thing, it does not affect battery, just so you know. It's, it's, it's like it's, it's not even there. And the way it works is basically you get some kind of a notification or a prompt and it will show a little square on the top with a blue uh, outline saying that you can tap to make this go away or just to activate or to stop or something like that. Well, it's that simple. I hope you enjoy.